Hi, my name is Christopher C. Mosley, and I'm the founder and owner of Real As It Gets Incorporated, a Birmingham-based film company. Recently, I had inspiration to bring awareness to the community about the current drought situation in Birmingham and surrounding areas. So I got in touch with Birmingham Waterworks to set up an interview to do just that. Since the 1st of October, a total of 1,844 wildfires have destroyed over 22,000 acres of land in Alabama, and a no-burn ban remains in effect. Some counties have been as long as 64 days without measurable rainfall. The Birmingham Waterworks is now in a stage four extreme drought emergency. Please share this information in hopes that we can bring awareness to our communities to help out in this time of emergency. Hello, my name is Courtney Howard and we're here today at the Birmingham Waterworks with Mr. Deborah Jones. Hello, Mr. Jones. Good afternoon, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Doing well. We're here because we want to get some firsthand information to the citizens about what is going on with the drought as far as the phases and how they're measured as well as what they can do as citizens to help out with the situation. Okay. Um, so my first question is, where does our fresh water supply come from? Well, Birmingham Waterworks has four different intakes, four different sources of water. Uh, contrary to some of the public's belief that we only have one, uh, Lake Purdy and Cahaba River is our oldest source of water. It is also the one that's in the most dire straits right now. But we also get water from Blount County, our Inland Lake source. We get water from our Sipsy Fork right below the Smith Lake Dam up in Coleman County. And we also get water from our Mulberry intake on the Warrior River. So there are four sources for water feeding four different treatment plants. And those four sources are four totally different separate watersheds. So you can have a drought in one area and not in the other based on where that rainfall typically falls. Okay, really good information. Um, about how many homes do we supply water for here in the Birmingham Waterworks? Right, Birmingham Waterworks is a large water system. We have over 200,000 service connections. About 180,000 of those are residential or apartment complex type connections. We supply water to roughly about 600,000 people. So. About 600,000, about 180,000 connections. So I would say uh, most of those connections are scattered throughout the water system. There's no one particular area, mm -hmm. but most of our connections are residential. That leads to my next question. How much do we depend on rainfall to provide water for these systems? Okay. Our water systems operate on rainfall, 100%. Uh, every lake, every river, every stream generates because of rain. Uh, with no rain, there's no source water. Even if it's wastewater that comes from drinking water, that comes from a river, that comes from groundwater. So rain, you know, all fresh water that we use is rainwater. So you've had 60 days of no rain, you're going to have a situation where you have a shortage of supply. Makes sense. And how long have we been in this current drought? The drought probably started in early to mid-August, and we've had over 60 days in some areas with no measurable rainfall, and that's significant. That is, and it happened at a time of the year when the weather typically gets dry anyway. It happened a little sooner. So we've had hotter temperatures in September and October than we normally have. October basically was 80 degree days in October. So summer basically was the extra two months long. All of that impacts our source water. So it's definitely been a challenge for us. Okay. When you say the source water, that make me think about the stages. From some background information, I found out that the days between stages of the phases um, of the drought are usually 20 days. How has the rain affected that with, has it speeded up the process of it Absolutely. being more than 20 Absolutely. days or less? Our standard practice would be 21 to 30 days between stages, but because of this drought and because of the timing and sequence that everything happened, we pretty much went through stages maybe seven days, no more than 10 days at a time, because not only typically our customers use less water in September and October, but this year they was using a lot more water than normal. Uh, if they had been using our normal amount of water, the stages would have been stretched longer between the stages. But because they were using about 10 to 15 million gallons of water more per day, mm -hmm. we had to accelerate that uh, each stage of the drought plan. 
how much longer would we need to go without water before a state of emergency is declared? That, that's kind of a, in our opinion, it's an emergency now. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, when do we run completely out of water? We don't, we're, we're not going to make sure, we're going to do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, and our customers with their cooperation and using less water, uh, we, we, we can sustain a little longer for certain. We, we hope to get rain in the next 30 days or less. If you can tell me when the next rain event is going to happen, if you're going to tell me when it's not going to rain, then maybe we can answer that a little bit more definitively. But we believe we're going to get rain at some point mm -hmm. and hopefully we can get back to normal. And last question, in what ways do you suggest households to cut back on water usage to help out with the situation? Well, we have a drought plan that's, that's available on our website, um, bwwb.org. And in that drought plan, if you look up on the stage four, uh, really you need to look up on the all stages because in each one of those stages, there are watering tips. Uh, this is November, it's November 18th. Should not be a lot of outdoor watering at this point. Naturally, normally it's not. We ask that you cut out the watering down. We ask that you uh, just, you know, do the things that you've been taught from, from, from a young age. You know, wash a full load of clothes. Uh, don't let the water run when you're brushing your teeth, taking the shower, you know, you know limit your shower timeline. You know, just, just use water wisely. Mm -hmm. If you do those things, that in itself would help us tremendously. Thanks, Mr. Jones. For more tips, please visit bwwb.org.